It's kind of fun just to be out here in the enclosure, crouch down, getting to see them on their own level, but something tells me I'm in a little bit of a vulnerable position here. Oh, that's big, that's scary. Hello. Whoa. Always fun to play with your friends. All right, yeah, this will do it. Pretty sketch. This is also where they poop. I noticed that they like to come back here. Look at this. Look at this. I haven't been over here in quite a while, but there's a new nest that she went ahead and built. Holy smokes, I can't believe I missed this. Now, is she gonna try and protect it? Is there a nest? <laughs> Imagine if I saw babies, then I'd know for sure things worked out. What's going on everybody? You know what today is, it's gator feeding day and uh, this is the last of the three little piggies that I got from my buddy Kurt. They're a feral population of wild hogs. So they call them here and they're a problem all over their range in southeastern United States and Texas and even into California. So they make for really good whole prey for my two big gators. So today we're gonna feed Snaggletooth and Dale and see how they behave. Uh, they're gonna be very excited. They've been hungry. Uh, they've had a few fish as you guys have seen, but I think it's time we really give these guys a proper meal. So I'm just gonna dump this in there and we're gonna document what goes on. They're both kind of waiting already and I gotta be quick because they're gonna explode out of the water when they smell this hog. That is the truth. These guys get very excited for this kind of meal. So let's put the cart between myself and the giant beasts. Here we go. <clears throat> this thing's heavy, so I can't really be flipping it around too much, but let's see. Who's gonna get it? <clears throat> Come on, Dale. Come on, Snaggletooth. So basically, if this animal were hanging out by the, the water's edge, this is what would happen just be hanging out here, hanging out by the water's edge. Who's gonna get it first? Who's gonna get it first? Look at this. I think it's gonna be our man Snaggy. I think it's gonna be Snaggy. Oh, 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 there he goes. Oh, Snaggy, got it. Oh, you heard the crunch. But she's gonna jump in on it. She's definitely gonna jump in on it, oh my gosh. And he's gonna take it away. He's definitely gonna go on over and take that thing away. Holy smokes. Let's go follow see what he's doing I gotta be careful of her she better go get him let's send out the other camera see if we can get his get a little bit of a view oh boy she thinks the camera's food we gotta go way oh boy she is coming up she's coming up to the camera I don't want her to get the camera for crying out loud oh boy but well, we wouldn't mind a better view, I think, to be perfectly honest. Let's angle this sucker down. Okay. Just like that, hey. Let's see. Let's let's see if we can get a better shot of her. How funny is that? Look at this. She is amped up. Better get going, kid. All right. We are going to go see what's going on keep her in one place and then look at this guy over here here's where he is he's got he's got the food dude so here's the thing he's just gonna hang out with this uh, as long as he can he's pretty excited to have it he's gonna hang out and uh, that's it I mean we gotta wait uh, she might try and steal it from him but He's normally not that lucky. Look at this, he does not like to be disturbed when he's got a large piece of prey in his mouth. She's just on the other side of the island. Oh boy, I don't want her to climb up here. Come on, buddy. Good boy, Snaggy. That's a good snaggle tooth. That is awesome. She knows something's up. She knows something's up, but he's got it by the head. 
And my gosh, it's gonna take him a long time to eat it, but we have seen death rolls out of her, which have been pretty exciting. Let's see if we can get over this way, just to see what they do. Look at this. You could just see that this guy is all about keeping that food. But here comes Dale, and that's trouble. I actually don't mind them working together. I want them both to get a little bit of this meal, and she's good at coming on over here and starting trouble. Look at this. Here it is. Oh my God. The, the hunt is on. Dale is on it. She knows he's got a pretty good meal. So he's going to try and hide from her. No, that's a log. So they're a little worked up at the moment. No, Dale, that's not, that's not the good stuff. She is so funny. She's so kind of worked up right now. She's looking for any bit of that to eat it. All right, he's over here now. And he's gone under, but you could still see the hog floating out there. But come on, girl. I really want them to both just get on it because that's when you'll see them using their uh, ability to kind of death roll and everything else. Come on, Dale. Oh, that is so crazy. I gotta be careful now. She can definitely push this ladder or this bridge right over. Well, I don't want none of that. Now, where is he? What is he up to out there? He's brought it down underneath. He's brought it way down low. Here she comes. But where is he? Once she gets in here and starts looking, it's going to be pretty aggro for him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it over there. So we've got to be careful. Look, she keeps thinking that this is the food, though. This ain't the food, dude. I actually have to do some tree trimming to get the Camp Ken and Jumperoo line good. Yeah, that's the hog right there. Yeah. Oh my gosh. He knows. He knows he's got to hide and buy his time because she's definitely on the hunt. She knows there's food. They can sense it. Blood in the water, so to speak. Let's see if she can understand if that's actually... Oh, I want her to get that. Nah, don't come to me, pal. You gotta get to that hog. Oh, this is trouble. No, Dale. It's just over there. These big feedings are always a pain in the neck because of the fact that these guys are, um, you know, once you get them on a hog, one or the other is not going to part with it very easily. Pretty sketch. This is also where they poop. I noticed that they like to come back here and they have their poops right in this area. Haven't been over here in a quite a long... Look at this! Look at this! I, have, I haven't been over here in quite a while, but there's a new nest that she went ahead and built. Holy smokes, I can't believe I missed this. Now, is she gonna try and protect it? If she does, I don't think so. There's probably no eggs in here, but I'm gonna have to have a look. Forget the hog, people. This is insane. She scraped together. Where is she? Oh, I don't see her. That's scared. Oh, she's going on. She's on him. He's on hog patrol. Oh my gosh, there he is over there. Look at this, she's got it. She stole it from him. 
Oh my gosh, man. Oh, there's some death rolling going on. The water is up and these guys are at it. They are gonna be wrestling in here. Look at this boil. He's got it and she's got it. This is what I wanted. I want to see death rolls. I want them to each get a good feed. And that's what's happening right now in this water. Meanwhile, we've got a nest. That's awesome. I didn't even notice the nest. What am I doing? I rarely look down on that area. So that's where she built a nest prior, but I don't think there's eggs in it because she didn't seem to care too much that I'm over here. We also got to cut this Brazilian pepper and I got to be careful not to slip in that water. This is a invasive plant, Brazilian pepper. Ugh. Let me see if I can rip it out. Yeah, I can rip that out while I'm here. This stuff will just take over. It's annoying. Where the heck did they go, people? This is sketchy. A little bit sketchy. Give me a second. Oh my gosh, guys. I really want to get this out. I don't know if I'm strong enough to pull it out though. Let's see. Go ahead and put you guys down for a moment. Now that's one. I'm gonna have to cut that. It's too thick in there, people. It's too thick. But where'd they go? Now they're both gonna rest for a bit. Nuts. They're gonna rest until I hear some things going crazy. I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's keep digging in here. This is good stuff. Uh, is there a nest? <laughs> Imagine if I saw babies, then I'd know for sure things worked out. Uh, but I don't see an actual nest. This could be the old one, but I don't know. This looks pretty fresh. She may just start to practice this stuff. Who knows, in a year or two, she may actually start to breed. Let's get back over here. Oh, they've gone. They've gone into the other section. Let's go check it out. Yep, she's holding on. He's gotta be somewhere down underneath. He's gotta come up for air soon, especially if they're moving around a lot like this. He's gonna have to come up and get a breath. I don't think she stole that whole thing from him. I could be wrong though, and I gotta be careful where I'm at. Some bubbles happening here. This is crazy though. All right, there she goes. Here we go. She's trying to get away. You can see he's definitely holding on to it. They're just stirring up that water too. Both powerful animals, you know, so there's a bit of a tug of war going on here. Now clearly Snaggletooth is going to be stronger than her, but she's persistent. And uh, like I said, if she can just get a grip and angle herself, she'll be able to twist, do a death roll, and possibly break a piece off. Normally I wouldn't be sitting this close to the water, but you know what? I'm fairly certain these guys are preoccupied. There's some death rolling. We got some death rolling going on here. Things are definitely heating up here. She wants a bit of that. Incredible. When that water starts, starts to boil like that. That's just awesome. Oh, 
All right, here they are, guys. They've each got, they've each got something right now. Who's gonna get the bigger piece? So nuts. It's so crazy. These two are something. Let's get back over here. Wow. Oh, this is not sketchy, right? Hold on, people. Ugh. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Okay. Let's get back over here. these two cuckoos so it's a stalemate but they'll rest and then they get excited again and it's right back to work you know holy smokes look at these two you definitely do not want to fall in this pond when they're hungry that's for sure all right she's starting to move again she's gonna do something she's setting herself up pop perhaps for a death roll Watch that tail. She's she's working. She's about to spin. Now he's taking the breath and waiting for her to do her thing. It's almost like cooperation but by mistake, if that means anything. They're not doing this together on purpose, but they are doing it together. Uh, it's just awesome. I love big whole prey feedings with these two. They're really a good representation of alligators and the size they can attain and their behavior, especially here in Fred's Lagoon. Uh, this place is so naturalistic. Um, it's one of my favorite enclosures I have here because it's so suited for these animals and of course them being uh, native to Florida it's just awesome she's back up setting them for that death roll trying to get a good grip oh boy where are they going look at this oh that's big that's scary hello Whoa! Oh, did she get a piece of it? No. Oh, look, he's going out. He wants out, baby. Oh, no. What are you going to do now? What are you going to do, Dale? What are you going to do? He came out of the water. you got to come out of the water now. Whoa, that's so intense, man. Uh-oh. Does she know what she's doing? I don't want to distract her, that's for sure. That's crazy. Yeah, it's a big girl. I'm gonna roll over here and see if we can get a better shot. It's hard to walk in here because of all these cypress knees here sticking up. Holy smoke, this is cool. He's like, I'll just get out of the water. That's nuts. Yeah, that's a big, that's a big piece of meat there and you can see the damage done to it. Holy smokes, he's got that thing pretty good. She's lacerated quite a bit of it. I don't want to get too close because he's going to get upset at me. He's going to think I'm here to take it away and I don't want him to think that at all. You can have your meal. Plus, that tail can nail me. Look at that snaggletooth. I'll tell you what, friends. I'm going to try something else right now. I want to get some close-ups of this guy. It's so cool to see him do his thing. Let's see if this pole can work. I think it might. 
always fun to play with you, friends. All right, yeah, this will do it. Here we go. We're gonna get a little closer to Snaggletooth. Oops, look who's here. That's no good. I want him, I don't wanna get cut off by her. Wow, he is just holding on to that prey, but she's coming out. She's coming. We don't want to get cut off. He knows we're up to something. Meanwhile, he's not going to be doing much of anything. Just hanging out. That eye. Look at that eye. She knows something's up. She knows he's here, clearly. And uh, he hasn't been missing many meals, that's for sure. coming towards me. Yep. I think so. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, she might start to see uh, snag over there. It's so spooky to see how their reptilian brains are kind of thinking things over right now. They are looking for food. Yeah, that's trouble. Mine. Oh, Snaggletooth, you don't want to share. He does not prepare to share. You're too slow, girl. Way too slow. Nutty. We'll see if he winds up doing a head shake. I don't know. Well, it's time I gotta go run and grab battery. So you guys stay here and watch this animal. I'll be right back. Yeah, she lost it again, and she is not happy about it. She's feeling for him. I think she's found him. Oh yeah, she's definitely up on him.
I gotta be a little careful here. All right, she's over there. She's systematically going under looking for him to try and get a hold of that hog again. Be careful. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She's up to no good. Wait a minute. I think he's up. Oh, he's up on land over here, guys. I didn't even know that. Oh, sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. <laughs> He's up on land again. Holy smokes, I didn't even catch that. Oh, how could you miss that monster? There we go. There he is. Big snags. You better start eating soon, boy. So, it's kind of fun just to be out here in the enclosure, crouch down, getting to see them on their own level, but something tells me I'm in a little bit of a vulnerable position here. are cat and mouse, let me tell you. It is an extremely long, drawn out process when you feed them a, ho a huge hog to try and get everything uh, in one video. It, it takes all day. It could even take two days for these guys to finish their meal. Back again. I gotta be honest, I'm concerned about that GoPro. She may eat it. This is one of the more tedious videos that I have to do because you roll through a lot of tape and a lot of batteries and I mean it I've been out here an hour already. She just needs to walk up along that right side of him. But he'll see her and he'll push her around. Sneaky girl. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ugh. Woo. Oh, look at that. She's shaking. Look at that. About 3,000 pounds per square inch she could slam down on, but she didn't get a good enough uh, purchase on that animal's hindquarters to really get any significant beat. My God, though. That is just awesome when they when they do move. It is just impressive. You see her trying to shake. So they got another standstill. I gotta make sure I have a quick getaway behind me. If by some chance he decides he wants to run up this piling, <laughs> I doubt it. He looks like he's gonna pull straight back into the water. He's 
building up. You can see it taking that breath in. Oh, she better get it. Oh, that's it. She got a leg now. Go, girl. <laughs> She'll just nibble a little bit at a time. What a lady. Good girl. You got a good little bite there, didn't you? So that's basically how this is going to go, guys. Um, they're going to play cat and mouse for hours more. Um, in the meantime, I have to get back to work over here. I do know for certain that this hog will get consumed, but uh, for me, I'm going to have to sign off, but it's always amazing to be next to these beautiful animals. I always think of my buddy Fred. I'm so happy that we can give them such a nice home here at Camp Cannon. And I appreciate that all you guys enjoy these two animals as well. Keeping Fred's memory alive and protecting these animals and making sure that they're happy, fed and safe makes me stoked. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you and I'll talk to you again real soon. See you later.